Yo, hello, my name is Wes Ben and welcome to another 10 minute loop. In today's Cinema 4D tutorial, I want to show you how to make this wall of diamonds. These are cloned cubes and the blinking is driven by the shadery factor that has a looped noise. The camera animation is done with the Vibrate tag. So let's jump into Cinema and let's get started. Okay, let's start by building our little diamond grid. I'm gonna make a cube. And this cube is gonna be 20 by 20 by 3. Next I'm gonna make a MoGraph cloner. Put the cube in there. And let's change some cloner setting. For the mode, I'm gonna change it to grid array. I want to have 20 by 6 by 1 clones. And for the size X, let's make it 1000. And in order to see our diamond shape, I'm gonna go to transform, change the banking to 45 degrees. Next, I'm gonna make a room for this diamond grid to be in. So I make a cube. And this cube, I'm gonna make it fairly wide, maybe 2000 by 2000. And the height, I don't know, let's try 350. And now I'm gonna position my camera inside this cube. And I'm going to reposition it so the back wall is a bit closer to the grid. I'm gonna simply drag back the Z coordinates. And I think this is okay. Well, this was all the modeling. And let's make some materials. Double left click here to make a new material, open it up, and this is going to be the material for my room. So I go to reflectance, and I think I'm going to add a ward, make it maybe 12%. I want some reflection, but not too much. And the color, I'm going to make it black. Next, I'm going to add a little bump. Open your bump, go to texture, make a noise, go inside your noise, and I'm going to make my noise very small. So my global scale, maybe something like 4%. And the bump, it's, it's a bit strong now, so I'm going to lower it, maybe something like 5. And I'm going to drag my material onto my cube, which is actually my room. Okay, let's do a quick test render and see where we are. Well, I set my material to be black, and yet I see a lot of gray stuff in here. And that is because by default, there is a light in my renderer. So, let's go to the render settings, click on options, and here you see a default light. And that's turned on, so let's turn it off. And while I'm here, I'm going to change my output settings to... 720p and I'm gonna change my renderer to physical and if I now render everything is black and this is what you would expect without any lights so now it's time to make our diamonds start glowing I'm gonna click on my cloner go to MoGraph effector and I'm gonna make a shader effector now in my effector let's open her up I don't want any scale I only want my color mode to be turned on and use alpha turned off Next, I'm going to go to my shading tab, go to shader, and here I can make a noise. And this noise is what will be driving the animation of our blinking cubes. So let's open the noise up. I'm going to change some settings. I'm going to change the noise type to Luca. The, the scale of this Luca noise, well, let's make it a bit bigger, maybe 200%. I'm going to give it some animation speed, maybe 0.2, not too much, not too crazy. And the loop period, well, we're going to make a loop, and our loop is going to be 8 seconds. And the loop period inside your shader is also set in seconds. So let's change the loop period to 8 for 8 seconds. And let's make a bit of room. I want this noise to have a bit more contrast. Now to do that I'm gonna increase my low clip until I got some pure black parts. 20% will do nice. And I'm gonna lower my high clip to get some more pure white parts. And now as you can see we got some white quads and we got some nearly black quads. And this is what I wanted. Now let's make a new material that we can put on our diamonds. I'm gonna open my material up. I don't need any color, I don't need any reflectance. I just want some luminance. For the color, well here we can pick a color. I go for this spooky blue, press OK. And now for the trick, the texture. In here, I'm gonna go to MoGraph, Color Shader. And what this color shader does, it will use the black and white values we got from our shader effector to drive our actual color. Now, in order to see this, I need to change my mix mode from normal to multiply. And if I now drag my material onto my cloner, you will see we got all these diamonds and some are black and some are very bright. Now, let's uh, spice this up a little bit. I'm going to add some diffusion and in here I'm going to add a layer shader. So I can mix a few different shaders all at once. I'm going to open it up. The first shader I'm going to add is a simple gradient. Let's open the gradient up and I'm going to make a box. Right click, invert the knobs. Let's add a little bit of turbulence. Gonna drag the white knot way more to the right. 
the black knot a little bit in. Let's go back and I'm gonna add a noise. This noise is gonna be something we're gonna see over all our diamonds. So let's pick a random noise. And I think I need it to be a bit bigger, maybe 200%. And the texture space, I'm gonna set it to world. And the world space just means that every diamond will be textured with this noise, but differently, depending on where they are in the world. Now let's mix these two together. I'm gonna put the gradient on top and I'm gonna lower the mix strength. Now, in order to see our uh, layer noise, I need to jump back and I need to toggle on effect luminance. And now you see we got some noise over our luminance material and our material is done. Now, before I do my camera animation, let's do a quick test render. Well, I think this is rather nice. I only think that my luminous material could be a bit brighter. Let's open up my luminous material again. And I'm gonna set the brightness to maybe 200%. And this will just brighten up our diamonds. Okay, it's time for our camera animation. First, I'm gonna change my duration of my composition. I'm gonna make it 240 frames. And I'm gonna make a camera. So we're gonna look through our camera and let's position it at a cool starting position. And the animation I'm going to use will be based off a vibrate tag. So right click on your camera, Cinema 4D Text, Vibrate. We can enable position and rotation. And now for the trick to make your vibrate tag loop, I'm gonna set the amplitude for position and rotation all to zero. Gonna make two keyframes, one for position and one for rotation. Next, I'm gonna jump up three frames and I'm gonna give my fiber tag some real values, maybe 20 by 20 and maybe 50 for the Z. Add some rotation, maybe three by three by three. Make a keyframe, of course. And now to loop this, I'm gonna select my first keyframe. I'm gonna hold down control, drag it to the right. And we have a copy. Now this copy is gonna be at frame 240. I'm gonna do the same for the second keyframe. So select it, hold down control, drag it to the right. And I'm gonna place this at frame. 237. So let's uh, jump back to the beginning of my animation, press play and let's see what we got. You see we got this nice shaking animation of our camera, the, the lights are blinking all randomly. And the looping part, well that is seamless. So let's uh, render this animation out, I'm gonna go to my render settings, go to save, I'm gonna give it a name and let's call this blinking diamonds. Go to your output, change the frame range from current frame to all frames, except for the first one. And we are ready to render. Now in this tutorial I wanted to show you how to use the shader refactor together with some noise to make this grid of diamonds blink at a random fashion. And the other cool trick is to use the fiber tag and make a looping camera animation. So that was it for me for this 10 minute loop. My name is Westbam. thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.